And now a quick word from our sponsors here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hey man here from Viral Hip Hop News letting my people know to go grab this bottle of miracle food right now. Shopadopter.org put together some of the best ingredients on God's green earth to help your immune system, give you a cleanse and reboot that your body deserves. Don't wait for your miracle. Grab it in miracle food right now. Let's go. Go purchase the original crime drama series by Daniel Webb, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1978, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill at Archway Publishing or wherever books are sold right now. How many how many of these rappers walk into situations like, like a fab, right? He, he walked into the lion's den. I don't know if he realized it or not how close he was to potentially getting his shit taken. How many rappers like on a percentage walk into those type of situations, do you think? Oh, they do it all the time. I tell you, I just got a call from L.A. The, uh, three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, to say, hey, you know this nigga? And I'm like, oh, shit, because I don't. <laughs> because everybody I know know better. And when you finna go over there, anywhere near over there, you over there, over there, dummy. Yeah, and yeah. You over there like it's some tourist shit, but no, nigga, you over there. Mm. What what are you thinking, dog? And I didn't know the youngster, but the homies gave the nigga a pass and, you know, told him, hurry up, get your shit and get the fuck out of here for, for, before you be somebody's goddamn breakfast. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was it was, it was was one of them. And I, so I talked, so I, when they put him on the phone, I, hey, boy, y'all motherfuckers think somebody be around here playing. Because we ain't on Instagram and Facebook and all that old goof ass police shit telling all the motherfucking business. What the fuck did we say? So you think that that don't you don't just go over and know another motherfucker's hood in their city with that shit? You ask somebody first, or you make sure you know somebody in that motherfucker so they so they won't eat your motherfucking ass up. Right. Now you ought to be thanking that man who handed you that phone for fucking calling me and thanking me for answering this motherfucker. Because had I sent him the voicemail, mm. he had made up his decision what the fuck was going to happen to you right here. And the reason he on the phone is because it didn't got to that point just about right there. Only thing saving your ass is the fact I answered this motherfucker's phone. Hurry your ass up get the hell on off him over there, man. And get somebody's damn number. Let me you ask you the level saying? of checking in. See, my fault. That's because people don't like the term check in. Man, when you go to a hotel, dog, you're going in there to be comfortable and lay down and get you some space and, and, and whatever and wash up or whatever. You you gotta check in when you get there. It's a sign. It's say check in. And I what's so why are you so offended by a motherfucker telling you when you get there? Check in. It's like the youngsters say, no, nah, tap in. Tap in. You know, you tap into the universe. You tap into your spirit. You check in with yourself. They took the terminology and got all fucked up with it, and then I ain't checking in with nobody. Well, I, would, I wouldn't want to go no motherfucker where if I couldn't fucking check in with nobody. Because now I'm on stranger land by mm -hmm. my motherfucking self. I need to know who around this motherfucker doing what, who, where they at, where they eating at, where the fucking, where all that shit at, where the best weed at. I'm over somebody's house. Everywhere I go in the fucking somebody's town, I'm over the people's house. Yeah, I go see all of the fucking tourist shit, but I'm over the motherfucking house. Because I want to be, I want to know some people when I go some motherfucking where. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do? I'm gonna get down my car. I'm checking in. What's up, my baby? What's happening? Yes, sir. Where it at? I need a joint, nigga. Then until you know, whatever the fuck, dog. I need to go to the Eighth Western Union or arrive from the airport. And people can't wait to be, you know, show that type of hospitality. Because when they come here, I'm picking them up from the airport. I'll pay for your fucking hotel. If you come, if you know what I mean, we didn't develop the type of relationship like, like let's take for instance me and Big U, mm -hmm. we share throwing power plays back at each other, like brothers supposed to do. Right. We throwing plays back. He throwing one, I'm throwing one. He throwing, one, I'm throwing another one. We going back. That's what we do, you know. So why the fuck would I go there and not want to be with Big Cuz? You know what right. I mean? 
this we got we have a full blown brotherly love thing we've built over time come from us checking in with each other just seeing if the other one are you can check in without going to, to a nigga town yeah? check in and make sure a motherfucker all right as the dog clown snoop and cube and i call and check on all my homies dog yeah because when i get there i'm ca- hey i'm here if you need me for anything i'm gonna be down here whoop, whoop. everywhere atlanta call palais palais i'm on my way bro you know what i mean i'm going to the house my brother i take my shoes off at the door i'm going to the house play with the dog i'm jump on the plane with the dog Mm-hmm. Family, we build families. We ain't trying to fucking tear no shit down. We build. It's with us working together. It's we built a network. But we throwing plays at each other back and forth, left and right. We gonna eat together. Everybody, hey, what's the fuck wrong with that? That's a fact. Would you would you say that? You no, know, this this is one of the reasons why you see a lot of these rappers, like you talked about, fabulous and other rappers. Would you say this is a reason why a lot of them end up? getting in sticky situations because they're not checking in with the proper people in that area and people feel a certain type of way. Like you coming into my town, making money without giving back to the certain the different people. Well, in that thing, well, see the thing is with fabulous when he came, like I knew Craig for real. And so I met fabulous right there. So he's good. So we good. It's no, right. the introduction is there. Now we, you know, we got a dialogue. We can share it later on or later if you need, you know, Craig, no, if you need anything, call Trick. You know what right. I mean? So, bro, no. Little bro, no. So, this is why I'm not letting nothing happen to him. No. To my own motherfucking homie. No, nigga, no. No, nigga, no. What mm-hmm. I say, no, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? No. All the way to the fucking, we got to go outside. Yeah. See? That's Craig. Big bro, little bro, what's up? You know, love, uh, this your man. You solid, he solid. Everybody with you solid. Y'all ain't got to worry about shit in this motherfucker. You wear all the goddamn jewelry you want. I ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Now, as far as these new artists, see, they do a lot of this shit back and forth with each other. You know, yeah. they be going back and forth on these little things. They going, you know. They got their beef back and forth and shit. Some motherfuckers ain't playing that shit. You know what I mean? You got to keep in mind, these just, it ain't the youngsters that's just crazy. They come from daddies. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that some, some of them ain't finna play about their baby boy. That's a fact. You know, not to bring no attention to no fathers at all, but shit. Like, People got people they take care of. You can't not expect repercussion and you going after somebody that is taking care of people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're a street nigga, you take if you're a street nigga, you taking care of some street niggas. Or you you tied in with some street niggas. If you come out of you on that tip, if you ain't on that tip, you probably taking care of some motherfuckers that's about that. And they're gonna ride for you. And if you don't, shame on you. Or let me let me ask you this. Hit pop. Hit pop. Shit. Hit pop. Hit bars is back. Hit pop. Sand it in. Oh god. What's up with you? I done watch them niggas do interview after interview They not culture vultures, the culture something they been into So if you never gave them a view, I recommend you do Cause when they question guests, they message is not subliminal It don't matter if you a rookie